the spark plug. Scored a try in the first half. G helped create a great piece of defence on the Warriors line. And now seizing the moment. To make it at worst a converted try with just over 10 remaining. Get them within four if they can slot this home. The kick looks good. It is good. And what a finish we've got coming up once again on Monday Night Football. An all-time classic last week with the Roosters coming from behind to get the Rabbitohs. And who knows how this one may end here tonight. Well, the Warriors looked comfortable in the first half until he came up with a big shot. The big hit on Hurrell. That got them back in the game. His solo right, effort in the first on, half. Fellas. He's done the same in the second half. And I wouldn't be surprised with what happens here in this final 10 minutes. Here is Philly Philly bringing it back. No sidestep this time. Came straight back at Friend and Mannering. Madalino gave him a shoulder to go on with as well. And he's a bit sick and sorry getting off the ground, Moy Moy. They'll play it through Essie Tonga. Here is all good. Galloping hard, taking it up to the line, looking for a fast play, the ball, and getting one as well. Good work. Roberts coming to the outside. The ball goes to ground. Essie Tonga will pick it up. Touched by the Warriors. And that is the zero tackle. A chance for Parramatta at the back end of this set to put some real pressure on the Warriors back three. They're at the halfway line. Keating coming to Lasalo, Walking it down to Maloney. Makes a good stop. Now Roberts going across field. Giving it to Walgood. Another carry in this possession for Parramatta. They're down just outside the Warriors 30. Roberts to the line. Giving it to Matua. Trying to spin to the outside there of Chris Ninu. He was wrapped up by Tupo. Comes back. Now Maguire. Moy Moy looks to be okay. Bounces out of the tackle of Friend. He was flexing his knee at the other end of the field after that carry off the restart. And slowly to his feet once again. He might be done. Sando puts it in the air. A chance for Blair. Fatuva! Manu, what a night he's having with his hands. Absolute gold again for Manu. Uh, plenty of pressure from the Parramatta team. That's a courageous take. He hasn't, he's hurt himself too. He's a bit dusty over there on the wing as Mannering makes it up over the 20. Here is Friend. As Bill Tupo comes midfield for a carry. Fui Fui Moi Moi speaking of picking up a knock. He is ginger on his knee at the moment, making it back into the defensive line as we speak. Here's Mateo coming across. Moi Moi in cover. It comes to Vanuve down the sideline. Kevin Locke! Kevin Locke will score. A huge try for the Warriors. They go to the sideline to find the spaces. And this speedster was never going to be caught. Oh, how good was that from the Warriors? They were under pressure down the other end of the field. Manu took a terrific take. And then Felidi Mateo, the offload. Great work there by the New Zealand Warriors. Ben Henry linking with Mateo. Just one-on-one. -on -one. Gets out of the tackle of Sander to Ben Henry. He catches and passes. Big Manu. He does well here. He doesn't panic. Kevin Locke. He's been good tonight, Locke, pushing up in support like all good fullbacks. And he's at the game. Well, just too much speed, Kevin Locke. And Mateo can make a, a hit up. And he can certainly turn a hit up into something special with his footwork. Chris Sando, he'd want that tackle attempt again. Really caught out with the footwork of Mateo. And then they all played their part too. Ben Henry, a quick offload there to give Manu Vatu Vey the space. And Manu had to throw a perfect pass with... The Eels' defence converging on lock. He's been good tonight, hasn't he, Big Manu? Outstanding. Well, a couple of those takes, uh, they, well, they're, they are match savers. They, they, they were terrific bombs. Sando put them on the spot, and Roberts. We may get a short kick off here too, boys. Yeah. Maloney should keep his 
Record intact and make it five from five. And once again, a ten-point game. But there's still time. Manu Vatuve, after the night he had on Monday Night Football here all the way back in 2007, when we didn't see any of this back then, did we, five years ago? What a catch that was with the Eels pouring through. We always got the feeling that he was going to be strong tonight. Stay with he us. would have been disappointed in Stay his outside. performance. He's a very proud man. Stay and he's been terrific tonight. Well, it's been entertaining, hasn't it? Plenty of tries, some big hits. And the Warriors against a determined Parramatta side tonight. We've certainly asked the question of the Warriors. They're showing how they are so dangerous and how they went so close to a premiership in 2011. Taylor playing it. Going to this left-hand side. Madalino. Another carry, 14 now to lead that tally for the Warriors. Well, they've just got so so much depth as they roll forward through their big fellas. There's Mateo carrying it. No Lilliman, no Luck, no Rapira. No Rapira times two, Steve Gorsan. They're missing some players to begin the season. Now a knock on both ways. And on. Parramatta will have it. New Zealand, in unison. knock on. So go inside the final five, 30 points to 20. Well, last Monday night, we thought the game was over between the Roosters and Stay South Sydney. As we look to the bench, there's Fui receiving ice. A couple of nice strong charges tonight by the big man. 14 carries of the ball. A dozen tackles into the mix for Fui. He hurt that knee on the the restart, the carry off the back of the try by Chris Sando. And he'll afford to lose another player to a knee injury after a bit of a wretched start of the season for the Eagles. Now Chase Blair getting out of dummy half and going. He went a long way as well, got past Vatu Vey. They rounded him up from behind. He plays it just outside the Warriors 30. If they are to be a factor, they need to score very quickly here, the Eagles. Asalo, will play it. Keating, they come to the short side. Here's Roberts. Towards the sideline and stepping off that left foot. They've got a couple of plays left in this set and they need a result either way. Sando goes out the back. Gives it to Sio. Cuts back on the inside. Sio still going. Stopped by Kevin Locke. Last play. Here's Willie Tonga. It goes to ground. Picked up by James Maloney. He gives it to Bill Tupo. will get their first win of the season. Tupo grabs a four-pointer, and things may have just got worse for Parramatta because in the background, trying to track down Bill Tupo, Essie Tonga pulled up like he'd been shot. He did go down fast, Bill Tupo. Too much speed for the Eels, but it was the ball that found the ground, Maloney. It doesn't matter whether it's a bouncing ball. He just knows how to find a way in between defenders. There goes Essie Tonga down on the halfway line as Bill Tupo streaks away. And there'll be no miracles tonight. They've got great speed in their outside men. Well, Manu's a big man. He's got plenty of speed, as has Bill Tupo. Kevin Locke is very quick over the ground. And it's their reaction when the ball is on the ground. They get there. And James Maloney is very good at getting getting the ball as Essie Tonga leaves the field. What about the tackle from Kevin Locke though on Ken Sia? That saved a certain four-pointer. If he doesn't make that tackle, we're in for a grandstand finish. He has been impressive, Kenny Sia, hasn't he? He's had a, a big game, of course, going to fullback when Jared Hayne left the field. The scoreline will look like it's been pretty comfortable for the Warriors. They have been stretched 36 to 20. And he showed some speed, didn't he? Bill Tupo running away after the loose ball was scooped up. With the loss in front of 12,102 people, 
Parramatta will be 0-2 to start the Stay season. On, and they've had injuries to Jared Hayne, Fui Fui Moi Moi, and now Essie Tonga. They cannot take a trick, the home side. The beginning of 2012. Essie only Lousy bringing it back out from the kickoff. It was Akuma Tai working it forward there. They'll play it through Mannering. Taking it a long way, some big metres from the Warriors forwards at the back end of the game here. Just on, 60 seconds remaining. They've got something up their sleeve for their fans to go home with here in the final minute. Taylor playing it for Friend. Comes to Maloney. He's not thinking magic tricks. He'll just kick it for position. Inu coming through for a moment there, I think. He might have thought he had a play, but it just trickled out. And that'll almost do us tonight. Well, he's shown good control in the second half, James Maloney. With his kicking game there. I think he's putting the, the right kicks at the right time, except for the first one after half time. Thought he could have done a little bit more with that, but that's Stay being harsh. Let's go, Warriors. It's been interesting in the past couple of days with the, the blow up kick. about Bo I'm Scott over. signing to go to the Newcastle Knights, of course, next year and playing out the season with the Dragons. James Maloney signed what seems an age ago. The back end of 2011 to go to the Roosters next year. And it's hardly rated a mention. I guess out of sight, out of mind on the other side of the ditch. Well, you just don't know how it affects players. It hasn't affected the Warriors. It certainly hasn't affected James Maloney here tonight. He's played his role. Has had all of his teammates. And they picked up their first victory in 2012. 36 points to 20 over the Eels here on Monday Night Football. Well, they were very quick out of the blocks, the Eels. Race to an 8-0 lead, and then it was 18 unanswered points from the Warriors. The Eels had some moments where they got themselves back close. And Chris Sando, responsible for a couple of those himself with some solo efforts. But the Warriors, in the end, just too big, too much footwork and too much speed for the Eels, who lost Jared Hayne pretty early in the piece get their season underway, the Warriors, with their first points. You won't know how it would have turned out, how Jared Hayne been able to stay on the field. Ken Seo replaced him ably. Let's go downstairs right now to Andy. With a pretty happy uh, James Maloney, two years here as a junior. Nice to come back with a victory.